Brighton Beach is the immigrant experience. It's like another planet. It's one square mile of Brooklyn jam-packed with crazy Russians. We're a close community, and everyone is scared of losing their Russian traditions. Oh, my God. Really? In Russian culture, the man is the man. I don't give a flying But Russian women don't take from anybody. So worry about how I'm going to pay for my loans, bitch. Gossip, gossip. Drama, drama. That's how every single Russian girl is. There are some real bitches on Brighton Beach. Are you crazy? Look out right now if you don't care. Come talk to me when you have class. <laughs> Russians are known for having a great time. <laughs> you think your mother-in-law is crazy? Mine thinks she's 25. People are gonna point at you, laugh at you. You're gonna be a Girl. joke. There's so many hotties around here, you have to keep up. Stop here, tell me more. Yes. We like the finer things in life. This is exactly what I love. This is my style. We're very strong. You have the balls, you have the penis. Now, where is the drive? We are the women of Brighton Beach. <laughs> Welcome to our community. Good, how are you? My name is Marina Valeris. I'm 34 years old. I came here when I was a teenager. My husband Michael and I have two children. We started with nothing in this country. We worked very hard, and now we have our own business. We own Rasputin, which is the most famous Russian nightclub in the world. We live in a beautiful home. Everything is the best of the best. Hey. Hello. How are you? Good. So I'm gonna do some jewelry shopping. So, um, what do you, what do you need? Like 20 grams? What are you gonna get these days for 20? Get something that makes a statement. I absolutely like the finer things in life. How many carrots in this? 11 carrots of diamonds, and it's 28,000. Gorgeous. Big and blingy, and definitely Russian style. It's not about being flashy. We worked very hard for our success. It's about showing it more. It's how it is on Brighton Beach. So much food. This is delicious. So what's cooking, Marina? Oh, don't ask. My mother-in-law decided to enter the grandma pageant on Brighton Beach. It's all old ladies, not the first. It's horrible. It's a nightmare. Grandma pageants are not my thing. I, I need to practice. Ah. My mother-in-law likes to be on stage. She likes attention. No, don't do that. This event's for old Russian grandmas who are bored out of their minds. I am completely against it. I don't want to be embarrassed when she goes a little too crazy. What is too crazy for her? Like she would dance, she would pull up her skirt to her knee. Like it's a provocative, probably. Right? Some man, like the bra. I've known Marina for many years, and I disagree. I learned in America, you are what you think you are. So if you think that you're li young and adorable, that's the deal. Guys, she enjoy life. She might need to express herself. I don't know. Only young women in bikinis, no old ladies in belly dancing outfits. No, thank you. Marina and I came to the United States almost at the same time. Basically, she thinks she's the centerpiece of the universe. So everybody should revolve around her. She's dragging us all along on the ride with her. Why do I need to waste my Sunday? It's just a stupid local Brighton Beach pageant. She's just my husband's mother. That's it. She's nobody to me. Then don't go. How can they not go? Oh, I have to. In the Russian culture, you're supposed to respect your parents. And our parents brought us to this country. They did a lot for us. They sacrificed a lot. So the whole family really has to go and support. We don't have a choice. No, I think Easy. you should. You have I think to. You should go. No, OK. Good luck to you. My name is Diana Kosov, and I'm 23 years old. I was three years old when my family came to America, and that was for a better life. Hi. Hey, baby. I'm dating this guy, Paul. Paul has a Maserati. Let's go. He takes care of me. I mean, he's nice. But the only problem is he's Spanish, I'm Russian, and in this community, if I date someone that's not Russian, it's a big deal. But for me, where do I fall in? I don't know. 
Vietnam, Russian American. The banya is a Russian bathhouse. Go there with friends. The banya is awesome. You dip in the water. Go into the sauna. So relaxing. And there's like a million ways to relax there. Hit him in the head. <laughs> The fun part about the banya is just like, you know, getting together with your friends. It's where every Russian goes to hang out. If you're Russian, you're at the banya. Hi, babe, how are you? Here's Hi. the girls. This is a very small community. Everybody knows each other or heard of each other or at some point will meet each other. Join Hi. us, guys. You want to join us? Or... No, we're going to sit over there. Nice bodies. Thank you. Bye. Bye. That's all I can say. See you guys later. Well, they're all very skinny, so they have to eat salad. I'm married anytime soon. I'm, I want to have my career you want first. It? Yeah, I want it. But later in life. Right you know, now, there's no true. decent guys out there. That's not, not true. That's there's not true. no That's decent true. guys out there. There's none. You're sitting next to me right saying now. there's no good guys out there? <laughs> Sick. You know what I mean? I feel really? like you're putting a really? time frame on everything. I'm going to get married at this it's stage. It's not a time frame. It's just that like, I definitely don't want to give birth at 30. I'm 22 and I'm single. I want to have my first kid at 25. But that's when I'm all settled, when I can provide fully for my kids. It's horrible for you. Women are supposed to have kids younger. Yeah. There's complications as they get older. I could freeze my eggs. Hey, Easy. I could freeze question. them right now and just put them back in. I'm like, what, 33? I want to I want to kill like 32, 31. I don't know. The Russian community mothers and, and fathers just pressure their daughters and sons to get married. But now, like, that I'm 25, I don't see myself settling down anytime soon or having a baby. I feel like I'm not ready for it. My parents had me at 20 years old. Like, they had to mature at a very young age. I, I'm telling you, ask your parents, if you've ever asked your parents about what they've what been, they've been through, through, you'll, you'll see. I know what they've been through. We have the life right here. I think this is what our parents wanted. Uh -huh. Look at this, fish and beer right now. Renata, <laughs> they're choking each other. What are they doing? Too much beer. Drama. Yes, what can you do? Russian women love to flirt, but they never give up the goods. Why do they think that their JJ is so golden? Break it down. They just make us wait for no reason. And then we wait, and then sometimes it's not even good. Sometimes they just want the free dinner. Sometimes? <laughs> I need your help to put her outfit. Yeah, this is the one that I got there. OK. So put it in the bag. I will show you all my other dresses. This one. The grandma pageant is tomorrow, so Yeva comes over the house to show me her outfit. The belly dancing uh, costume, is it very open? This is my belly dance costume. Oh, wow. My mother-in-law needs to realize that once you're in your 50s, you can't be showing the goods. This should not be seen. That's it. Is it, like, naked? Not, like, uh, absolutely naked. Look. It's way too revealing. You can't wear this. Oh, no. She's going to embarrass the crap out of us. No sexy costumes. All my uh, costumes are sexy. What to do? Oh, my god. I really need your advice. The guy that I'm hanging out with or seeing whatever you want to call it, the Spanish guy. I really don't know what to do about him. I think it's getting more serious. What is a Spanish person's name? I call him Spanish Alex. <laughs> can I have his name? Paul. Paul. OK. You can tell your mom his name is Pasha. <laughs> this is what my parents want. Uh, they want me to be with someone successful. They want me to be with someone that's Russian that I know ultimately I have to be with someone that's my own kind. I don't know. I don't think you should worry about it right now. Yeah, why are you rushing into everything? You're going to stress yourself out bad. By 25, I wanted to have a baby. Oh, no. I want to be a hot mom. Of course. You can be a hot mom at 40. Ew! <laughs> Well, if I need to have a baby by 25 and I'm 23, well, I have to get to work. <laughs> My mom always told me, it'll be just so interesting if you just had a black boyfriend. Are I'm you like, serious? OK, whatever. I mean, I don't care, you know? Anastasia and I are really good friends. And we live together. But although we're both Russian, my parents are more strict. I'm always judged. Like, I believe in plastic surgery. I believe in Me Botox. Too. I believe in all these things that maybe the way that they were raised, they don't understand it's different. it. Could you imagine if I bring a Spanish guy home? Diana is a good Russian girl. She always does what her parents want, even if it makes her unhappy. You listen to me. You're not, it's not like you're rushing in right now to get married to someone. I don't think you should tell them anything.
This is my lucky shoes. I can dance with these shoes, I can move with these shoes. The day of the pageant, my biggest concern is that I'm going to be embarrassed by Eva's crazy performance. The kids are going to be embarrassed, Michael's going to be embarrassed, and I'll be the one saying something because nobody else will. Marina, I waited for you. I don't want to go, but we don't have a choice. Marina, you know, you know that I, I was a Russian engineer. This is the moment that I was waiting for 40 years. All my life, I love to sing and dance, but I never had a chance to do this in Russia. I always uh, like dreaming to be on stage and people would look at me. I'm an artist inside. Yeah. When I'm a grandma, I'm not going to do a beauty pageant. <laughs> <laughs> Almost there. I feel like a star. I move like a star. I'm so happy. I cannot believe. Okay, you're here. Brighton, it's crazy. There's never any parking. I don't. I don't like Brighton at all. That's it. You know what I think you're gonna be like what? when you're a grandmother. What? You're gonna be a hot gilf, a hot babushka. I'm gonna look like Joan Rivers with fake. Eyelashes. Eyelashes. Yes. And Botox and fillers and boobs. It's crazy. Yes. Grandma, don't get any ideas, Grandma. Hi, Miss. Diana. Diana. Mm -hmm. I miss you. I know. I Take love. everything. My mom came over to make borscht. It's a traditional beet soup. And my mom thinks that every Russian woman should know how to make it. OK. Let's do borscht, Diana. But I have a feeling she's really here to grill me about my love life. You like borscht? Yeah. My ex-boyfriend, I used to cook a lot. You're so fast. Because the, the woman have to be all. The woman have to be housekeeper. Woman have to be a uh, good wife. The woman have to be woman. It's very important. OK, give me fry pan. What fry pan? Fry pan, I need this. No. Diana, this is called fry pan. <laughs> it's going to be forever, this borscht. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. I think I can do this on my own. Yeah, one day you're going to be married. That's why you have to cook. The bottom line is that even though I'm only 23, she's scared that I'm going to be an old maid. Mama, what would you do if I was going to be with someone that was Spanish or Italian? Diana, you have a plans to bring Spanish guy at home? Tell me true. So I started uh, to date someone who is Spanish. And we've been seeing each other a few times a week. And I think I like him. I tell you the truth. Of course, I'm going to be upset. You're 23 years old, Diana. Now it's time when you have to do decision for the future. When she was lecturing me about my love life with this knife, I'm like, Mom, like, can I just live one day at a time? I would like you married only Russian guy. And we have the same culture. It's very important. You understand what I mean? My mom really wants to be a grandmother. Time's running out. I have a date with a Spanish guy. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. You know, I know what I want, and I just feel like, I don't know. Please, I... don't hurt me. Don't hurt my family. Please, don't hurt me. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Your Highness Grandmother Contest will start in five minutes. To me, Brighton Beach is the immigrant experience. For older people who stay in Brighton Beach, they don't want to move on. They stay in America, but they're not in America. When Yeva came out in the ballet dancing outfit, it was just a nightmare for me. 